Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a pretty fantastic day, and I think we are going to try... We still need greed as the loss. Let's give that a go and just see if we can maybe make this work. It's going to be hard, but we'll uh, we'll try. Mr. Dolly is a pretty good first room upgrade. Nice tiers upgrade to start with. Gotta love that. We can get into the cursed rooms for free. We get some bombs. That's pretty useful. More bombs. Free chest. A pill that is a pheromones. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what's this do? Spawns enemies. And I don't think we really want, like, any of these items. So, uh, let's break these. See if we can maybe scrounge up a little bit of money. Doesn't look like it. Um, we got five bombs. Let's check for a secret room right here. That's not it. Okay. Let's just fight some waves. Let's do that. All right. And we've been playing greedier mode, so I'm hoping that as a result, greed mode seems a little easier. <laughs> I'm not super optimistic on that, but we'll see. The waves are spawning like crazy, though. And if I do get hit, we're going to have some problems. Careful. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. I need to be able to step on the button if something goes horribly wrong. Actually, you know what? I think the loss can step on the button for free. I don't think it actually causes damage. I don't really remember. We're doing okay, though. We're, we're keeping up for the most part. There's a couple enemies that are being annoying, but we're doing all right. We're not, uh, we're not out of this yet. We're doing fine. It's just that one leaper, and these flies are certainly problematic. Okay, Flaming Leaper is dead. Explodey Guy is dead. These guys are dead. That went well. Okay. Ooh, how in the world did I not get hit there? Somehow. <laughs> Somehow I found the hole to slip through. That was a minor miracle. All right, so we got a ton of money now. We have enough to buy an item and a key. Uh, I don't really want any of these items, so we're going to re-roll. And we're going to re-roll because we might want to buy a three-cent key if one pops up. Uh, again, not interested in any of these items. Or any of those items. There's the D-Infinity. I don't think we want that. Let's try re-rolling one more time. Car battery. Car battery could be really good. Okay. Uh, although, there's also something to be said for latch key. But I think you go just a five-cent key and car battery. And we get depression as our second item, which is not super good. Steven, okay. Uh, he's going to get slowed by depression, which is good. And actually, I think depression can occasionally trigger the, the holy light effect as well when enemies walk on it. I think. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. We got... Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds. Well, I don't know if we'll quite finish this guy off before. No, not quite, but almost. Polycephalus. Okay. Got to kind of keep an eye out for that. Finish off Steven. Ah, I got hit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Careful, careful, careful. There he is. Stay out of the way. Stay on him. Okay. Dodge. We're fine. Okay. See if we can take out his little minion. Oh, I got hit. Dang it. <laughs> all right. That was not where I should have dodged. But hey, that's all right. Let's give this another try. Uh, pentagram. Damage upgrade right off the bat. Very happy about that. Check the cursed room. Cursed room gives us a... Bombs are key. And a friends till the end. Okay, we got a bomb. I wouldn't mind buying that tears upgrade as well. Um, let's put a bomb here and hope to get five cents. Ah, we didn't get it. Okay. Well, I was hoping. Um, hmm. I think at this point you just start fighting waves. You just go for it. What do we got? Flies? 
Okay, easy enough. We can one-shot him thanks to Pentagram. We're doing good. We need... All right, Stonies dealt with. So fairly easy waves to start with here. That's good. Okay. If we're going to beat Greed, we're going to need something. We're going to need, like, um, either an Alge's Rune or... I mean, Nod Leaf and a Orbital is not really the best combination in the world, but it is feasible that something like that could pop up. I mean, we've got the D4. We could try to reroll into Nod Leaf, but I don't think you want to give up Holy Mantle for that, considering you're already kind of in a bad spot. I would really like to get. A key and a tears upgrade, but I don't really see an a way to scrounge up that extra penny. We're only one penny short, though. Maybe we can get. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Well, tell you what. Let's get the let's buy the tears upgrade first, and then we'll uh, we'll get the key after we fight the bosses. Cause then we've gotten a damage and a tears upgrade. That's you know. A solid DPS increase. I think that's probably the the smarter play here. Come on. Stay back. There we go. Almost got Monstro. Alright, he's done. What's next? Mega Fatty. Lovely. I got hit. I got hit. I'm dead. Dang it. Uh, sigh. Okay. I mean, uh, one thing I have to say is that we've gotten very lucky on our starting room items, for the most part. We've gotten pretty lucky in that regard. We haven't, uh, haven't gotten hit too bad. I think this guy is probably worth blowing up. Blind Rage gives us, uh, longer invincibility frames. I would like to get toothpicks. Um... Do I want to spend a bomb? Yeah, we'll see if we can get a little bit of money by blowing these guys up. We get a whole lot of nothing. Okay. So, I guess we will just start fighting waves yet again. Okay, there we go. More yellow flies. Fine, fine, fine. Easy enough. There we go. Those guys will actually... Dude, uh, I got hit. Okay. Can I step on the button? I can. All right. Cool. So we made it. We stepped on the button. We've picked up all the money. Let's go ahead and buy the five cent key. And we'll check this. Ancient Recall. Draw three cards. Okay. Anarchist Cookbook. Um, I guess it's better than the D4. Let's use this. Ace of Hearts, High Priestess, Justice. Justice is good. Okay, we'll take those, and we'll take High Priestess with us. Maybe we can use that on a boss or something. Still wanting to buy toothpicks, but I don't know. We might have just enough money to do it. It's going to be close. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the card, but if one of those had been a two of diamonds or a, you know, a joker or something, that could have been very good for us. And I did get hit again, so i got to be careful. I really don't want to step on the button again. Okay. Thank you also, uh, Spectral Tears, for allowing me to still hit enemies, despite all these annoying stonies that are everywhere. Okay, that's problematic. Come on. Come on. There's... Oh, this is the last wave. Okay, we're fine. All right, so we've got nine cents. I think we will get enough. Let's leave and re-enter just so we can reset Holy Mantle. Uh, and he's annoying, so we're just going to step on him. And now we got Gurglings. Gurglings, totally doable. Yeah, there is enough money for us to buy uh, toothpicks. Good. You know what? We're going to use the Anarchist Cookbook. Hopefully blow up some of these gurglings. Yeah, that worked very well. 
Lovely. Okay, so we got enough money to buy toothpicks. That gives us a nice tears upgrade. And now we will fight our boss wave, which is, looks like Larry Jr. and Monstro. That's not bad. Let's try to focus on Larry Jr. first, just to get rid of him. Okay, he's dead. So we are gonna get a deal here, assuming Monstro doesn't kill us. Which shouldn't happen. Monstro is not the toughest of bosses. Very easy to dodge attack patterns. Okay, there we go. Monstro is done. Please give me something good in this deal. Eh, not that great. Hagalaz, Ansus. Well, I think you pop Anses and you take the Hagalaz with you. So we know that our secret room is here. We'll exit going down that way. Eh, eternal heart. Totally useless. Okay, that's fine. Um, we should at least look at this room down here. Just to see what's down here. Um, crawl space? Crawl space. Check that out. And attack fly. I don't know if that will actually be helpful as the lost or not, but we'll take it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So, that's all good. And then we want to go down through this doorway so we can get the key on the way down. Okay. We actually have a pretty solid run right now. Mystery sack is fine. Uh, breakfast is useless. I'm just going to leave it in case we maybe get some way to reroll. Uh, sure. Okay, that ended up being worth it. Blank card. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're to, now we're now we're getting somewhere. I, I can I can get behind blank card for sure. Um. Hmm. So let's. Spend a bomb here to blow these guys up. That gives us five cents. Okay. And I think for the moment, we'll just start killing these guys. And uh, we'll want to buy a blank card. Because obviously blank card is going to be a lot better for us than Anarchist Cookbook. Anarchist Cookbook is mostly useless. I mean, you can maybe get, clutch, you can maybe get a clutch uh, play with it. If you get lucky, but kind of like we did with the gurglings there. But for the most part, I wouldn't rely on it too much as something that's really going to be super beneficial to your run. Okay, this stony is going to be annoying because he's going to just push us around like a jerk. Okay, come on, kill the spider. All right, more stuff spawning all over the place, but nothing that's super threatening. And you know what? This is a great time to use Anarchist Cookbook. That'll kill some of the enemies for us. Are we on the last wave? Not quite. But we're getting fairly close. I think there's one more wave after this. Come on. Ah, I was really hoping to get rid of the stony. But that's okay. This is the last wave. None of these enemies are really a threat since they just kind of stay down there. And we can take them up from a distance. So, pretty good first batch of waves. And we got plenty of money. So that's great. Um, so you buy blank card for sure. And then I think you just buy this card so you have something. It's a Wheel of Fortune card. Okay. Um, let's buy this one instead. Magician. Uh, also pretty bad. Okay. We'll use it in this case. That'll give us homing tears, at least to some extent. For whatever that's worth. And the answer is probably not a whole lot, but... We need to get some sort of decent card for our blank card to uh, to really help us. But for now, we'll stick with the... Well, actually, maybe it would be better to stick with Wheel of Fortune, because we can use that multiple times per floor, and then we can blow that stuff up since we do have bombs. Maybe get some money back? And with Mystery Sack, we are going to be picking up extra bombs and stuff, too. So I think we'll probably roll Wheel of Fortune. 
until we get something better. Ideally, we'd like to get at least like some sort of a damage upgrade, like a strength card or a devil card or, or something along those lines. That would be better. Um, so let's go here. I, I should have fought the boss wave, actually, while we had the magician active, but whatever. It's mostly fine. I think it's mostly going to be irrelevant. Not a big deal. These guys are not super hard to get shots to home in on. Anyway, oh, wow, there's spiders everywhere. Okay, got it. That's fine. It's fine. Careful. Okay. It's these spiders that are the problem. The big, the big ones. Two of these guys is actually pretty nasty. Okay. Little guy. Yep. I don't think I'm actually safe up there. Because <laughs> he can do that attack. Come on. Careful. Try to keep him at a distance. One of these guys has to be almost dead. There we go. One down. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Ooh, that was close. All right, we've done it. Now we just clear out these enemies. And these guys, if we hang out over the crevices, uh, the holes in the floor and stuff, we should be perfectly fine because they can't actually get to us there. So we made it. Barely. <laughs> but we made it. What you got? More runes. Okay, here we go. Dagaz, Hagalaz. Um, they're both kind of trash. Uh, I, I think we're actually going to stick with the Wheel of Fortune. Since both of those are garbage. Uh, and I think we are just down to the next floor. Couldn't have given me, like, a Yara rune? <laughs> or a Perthro? Or an Algis? <laughs> or anything better than Hagalaz and Dagaz? Oh, well. Skinny on Mushroom. Hmm. There's an interesting thought. Do you want to take Skinny on Mushroom? It's a damage downgrade, but it would bring our tears up. Uh, okay. So, here's the plan. We're going to open all of this stuff with one bomb. I want to push this all the way over here to there. And then we're going to want to use our um, our Wheel of Fortune right there as well. So we're going to get like a super play. Hopefully. Hearts. Useless. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't mind buying a 7 cent PhD. I don't think PhD is that good in greed mode, but for 7 cents? Eh. That's not terrible. And I think we probably should take Skinny Odd Mushroom. I don't know. It's hard to say, because the thing is, we've already gotten a Tears upgrade. So, we don't really need... Uh, I mean, Skinny Odd Mushroom, I think, is considerably better when you've gotten uh, no Tears upgrades, right? Uh, and I think I am actually going to step on the button right here. For a couple of reasons. It's going to allow us to get another Wheel of Fortune play, first of all. And it's going to help us make sure that we actually stay alive, which is, you know, something to be said for that, too. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we will use our Wheel of Fortune right here. I'm going to hold off for a minute. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take Skinny Odd Mushroom. It is going to lower our DPS a little bit, but it also bring our tiers up. I think it's probably worth it. And it's not a huge damage downgrade. It's just a little. Okay, there we go. Hoping that it ultimately pays for itself. Okay. That guy's done. I think this is the last wave. Yeah. Oh, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. Okay, careful. Don't blow up the guy on top of you. That's just a terrible plan in general. Okay, Fat Bat's done. Okay, we made it. Uh, and I'm actually one more. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's okay. 
Um, yeah, let's buy a 7 cent PhD. Ooh, that's also very tempting as well. Health up is uh, irrelevant as the lost. And a champion peep. Don't like that very much. With all sorts of other little minions and these head guys floating around the screen. Don't get hit by that. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Kind of saw that coming. We're going to hit the button. Because survival, more important than, uh, than the money right now. Because our money situation is good. His eyeballs are popping around as well. So that's just more stuff to attempt to dodge. At least don't get hit there. We want to make sure that we have lots of room to maneuver. Okay, he's jumping all the way down here. Get over on this side. He's almost dead. Come on. There we go. We got him. He's dead. Whew. All right. And we get one more Wheel of Fortune play. I'm going to put a bomb down right there. Blow all this stuff up. That's going to give us tons of goodies. So let's see. We got a key. We got a nickel. We got a another penny. This is a health upgrade that we don't care about. The D7 could be really good. Uh, but I think I want to stick with blank card. Yeah. Yeah, we'll stick with blank card. Okay. Come on. I mean, blank card Wheel of Fortune is not really doing much for us. But if we can get a decent card, it'll be significantly better. And our DPS is kind of showing itself as being pretty terrible. Uh, okay. Yep. That was very bad dodging on my part. Where's Explody Guy? Okay. Oh, boy. That was so close. Come on. Please die. Okay. There's another Explody Guy over here. One of the black skeletons. There we go. Okay. That was easy enough. Got a little dicey there for a minute, but it's fine. Big horn. Big horn. Oh, I got hit. Okay. That's a problem. And those things are a problem too, but... Oh, yeah. D don't go up by the... Don't go up there. At least our damage is reasonably good. Like, our, our actual DPS output is okay. Where, oh, I see him. There we go. Troll bombs. Stay away. There he is. More troll bombs. And down here in the corner. Stop running away. Okay, he's popping up over here. Almost got him there. All right, he's dead. We got it. What do we got? Uh, actually, empty vessel, very good as the lost. Occasionally will give us a nice little shield that'll help keep us alive. And I don't think there's anything else we want on this floor. So we are down to the next. And we are kind of doing well, mostly. Glaucoma, okay, not great. And of course we get another tiers upgrade that doesn't help us like at all. Uh, okay, it's a range upgrade too. Whoop de doo. Guppy. Cursed eye. Um I need to think about that one. I mean, as the loss, cursed eye isn't that bad. But at the same time, it's not exactly amazing either. I don't really like the press you have to hold the fire thing. Let's just do this. We're going to buy a card. It's a world card. I'm just going to pop it. High Priestess. Okay, you know what? I can live with blank card High Priestess. So let's pop this here. Throw a bomb down right there. Gives us some stuff that we don't really need or want. Um, But I'm good with this. I'm good with this. And then we still have 40 cents, which is quite a lot. I think... Hmm. 
Do I want any of this? Oh, there's a dime over top of that uh, way down as well. So got to remember to go out that way. All right. Start clearing waves. All these, these guys are not exactly ideal because they can hit you from all the way across the room. Okay. These guys are no problem. Definitely want to get rid of the dudes that are chained to the walls. Thank you for helping, Brimstone Guy. Uh-oh, that's problematic. Okay. Hit the button. We've already got taken damage once, so we don't want to... Oh, empty vessel. And that means empty vessel will allow me to use my revenge fly as an orbital to kill the rest of these guys. Okay. We made it. We're, we're okay. Um, I, I'm gonna buy a spider mod. Because why not? Chaos. Absolutely, I will buy chaos. Uh, Nun's Habit doesn't actually help me as the Lost. But chaos seems like uh, a very solid pickup for us. And spider mod actually seems pretty decent as well. Okay, I've got orbital power going. Revenge fly, do your thing. Okay, my shield is wearing off. Yeah, empty vessel has been probably the best thing that we've picked up so far, if I'm being entirely honest. Ooh, well, maybe not. I mean, we've gotten some straight up tiers upgrades and stuff. All right, we just need to not die. We're on the last wave here. Okay, there we go. All right, we made it. We're good. Okay, and now we've got a High Priestess card. So uh, that is a High Priestess play if I ever saw one. I want to make sure I get rid of... Oh, he, he brimstoned the bloat for me. He took care of it for me. Hey, you're, you're the champion. Three little chads? Three. You're kidding. How do you know how many it's, it's three little chads? That's it's too much. How are you gonna give me three little chads? And I have bombs, but not a not enough of them. How no. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Give me Come on. Get in there with with revenge fly. All right, my shield is wearing off. Careful. All right. Couple down. I got one down. And they're still spawning these flies. If it weren't for the flies, we could just hang out over top of this little hole in the ground. And ah, I got hit. Dang it. Ah, rip. Well, I think that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.